Hello guys, I'm JRodman15 and this is a tutorial and guide of how to get my new custom EMP series to work on Halo Custom Edition. Now, you can add any effect. The only EMP series that has been released to it, you can only add the plume effect. Well, my custom edition, you can add any effect. That includes, like, reflection and any. So, you want to open your browser, go to this, this website, this is my new website, it's called Joe at THM, stands for Joe at the Halo model site. When you open it, oh yeah, this is .dk, not that .com, but when you open it, it says it also these following Halo games, Halo Custom Edition, Halo Combat Evolve, and Halo 2. And I play Halo Custom Edition. So, if you want to download it, you click right here. Sorry, it's going a little bit slow, I'm using Camtasia. Yeah. And y you have to have WinRail. There'll be a link in the description where to get that. If you don't have it. So, you basically open it. Once you open it, there should be these files located in it. This is the only file that you really don't need to highlight. So, you're going to open the location of your Halo game. It's my location. And you just, what you really do, is copy you highlight them and drag them all to your file so I'm going to cancel all these cancel. So, there you go. Now you have awesome EMP series. So, right now I have a texture. I call it the um, Gears of War tech, Gears of War 2 texture. That's the one that you have currently in there. So you can just like edit that if you wanted to. It's really not that hard. You got the proxy, you got the effect working, you can adjust anything. You can adjust the reflection, you can adjust the bloom, you can adjust the SSAO filter, you can adjust the color correction, yeah, and then you can adjust the plugin, you can adjust the water, you can just adjust the shadow. I wanna adjust my water. You can adjust your shadow and your engine, you can adjust your motion blur, your poor pixel lighting, and your depth of field. The only thing that you are not allowed to adjust is your input. I will not adjust that. Never adjust that. That will mess up the EMB series. So if you, you can test out my settings that I have. They're pretty nice. Um, the minimum requirements for this to work, for the EMP series to not lag, is a 1.6 gigahertz processor, AMD Athlon. I don't know any other processors other than AMD Athlons and Intel Core. That would require um, a 2.0 or less so probably. And your graphics card should at least 
be uh, HD 3200 graphic cards from AT Radeon or other companies like Ruby 2800, no, I mean 200 and 800. And you must have at least 3 gigabytes of memory, but it will lag if you have 3 gigabytes of memory. It works better with no lag with 6 gigabytes or 5 gigabytes of memory. You have 160 gigabytes HDD, and that's practically it. You really have to focus on the graphic card. If you don't have a good enough graphic card, then Halo might crash. So there you go. Goodbye, and I'm JRunman15. Please subscribe to my video. This took me a while to make the program EMB series for Halo. Uh, I do not own EMB series, but I adjusted it so all the effects will work for Halo Custom Edition. Okay, bye.